Hi guys, I'm Juba. When you are watching this, you probably wonder which test you should take, the IELTS or the TOEFL. Which one is easier? The two tests are vastly different in several respects and some things are easier in the IELTS and some things are easier in the TOEFL. And which test is ultimately easier for you depends on your strengths and weaknesses. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is easier in the IELTS and what is easier in the TOEFL and in the end you will know which test is easier for you. So here we go! You may wonder why I know the differences between the IELTS and the TOEFL. Originally I wanted to take the IELTS this year and I also studied for the IELTS. However, due to COVID-19 the test centers were closed and I couldn't take it. So in the end I took the TOEFL home edition and this made me gain an insight into both the IELTS and the TOEFL and I realized that there are vast differences between them. So let's get started with these differences. Let's start with the reading section. In both tests you get several texts and you have to answer questions regarding these texts. There will appear questions of a particular style and regarding both tests you can practice these questions before. So the two tests do not seem to differ greatly regarding the reading section. However, when I took the TOEFL and started the reading section, guys, I was shocked. I was so shocked because the text in the reading section in the TOEFL were so much harder than what I had expected. Of course, I had had a look at some practice tests, but what I was seeing in the TOEFL reading section was really much more complicated. The texts were a lot longer than what I'd seen before and they were a lot more complex. When I started reading the first text, I thought, Oh my god, if this is going on like that, I won't finish the reading section in time. And in my head, I started to calculate the time. I really had to rush through the reading section. I really had to speed up. And fortunately, I managed to get through it in time, but it was really hard. So guys, here comes my tip for the reading section. If you have a hard time reading complicated texts, and if you are a slower reader, don't go for the TOEFL, choose the IELTS because in my opinion the reading section in the IELTS is a lot easier than that in the TOEFL. Let's go on with listening. Obviously the two tests differ regarding the accent. The IELTS is about British English and the TOEFL is about American English. So if British English is easier for you, you may want to choose the IELTS. If you are more used to American English, you may want to choose the TOEFL. But the two tests also differ in the kind of task that appears in the listening section. In the TOEFL you will get several listening tasks and after each task there is a multiple choice test where you have to find the correct answer. In the IELTS you have to do a totally different thing. You are listening to something and at the same time you need to write down your answers and you need to write down words. So the two tests are really different here. And here comes my tip. If you have a hard time understanding words when listening to English or if you have difficulties spelling English words properly, don't choose the IELTS because in the IELTS you have to write down a word and if you spell that word wrong you don't get the point because your answer is wrong. However, in the TOEFL you only have to select an answer from multiple choice. So this may be easier for you if you are not good at spelling. And by the way, there is always a 25% chance that you will choose the correct answer. Let's go on with the speaking section. In the speaking section, the IELTS and the TOEFL differ greatly. In the TOEFL you speak into a microphone. You are given a question and after that you have a limited time to answer this question. If you are doing this in a test center, you will have headphones. If you are doing this at home, you will speak into the speakers of your computer. So this means the speaking section in the TOEFL is more like doing a presentation. It's not like a natural conversation with people. Whereas in the IELTS, you speak to a natural person. This means this is more a conversational style. And here comes my tip for the speaking section. If you are used to doing presentations and if that doesn't seem artificial to you, you can choose the TOEFL. However, 
If you have a hard time talking by yourself without having a conversational partner and if conversations suit you better and you find that more natural, definitely choose the IELTS because otherwise you may have a hard time in the TOEFL because that simply doesn't seem natural for you. So in this case, the IELTS may definitely be easier for you. Let's go on with the writing section. The TOEFL and the IELTS differ greatly in the writing section. In the TOEFL, you will get two tasks. The first task is so-called integrated essay. That means you have to listen to something, you have to read an article, and then you have to combine the information and write a text about it. To get a good mark, you should write this text in a very structured way. So you definitely need to study the structure before. In the second task, you need to write an essay. And this essay is pretty freestyle. You only need to pay attention that you write an introduction, several body paragraphs, and the conclusion, and that's it. I think the great thing about the TOEFL writing section is that in the second task, you can use your personal experience. For me, it was much easier to write a longer text and to write in a more variable way and from several perspectives because I was talking about my experience. If you can talk about your personal experience, this makes the writing process much easier because the first thing is you know what you're talking about. You're talking about your personal experience. You know everything about it. And the second thing is it makes it also easier for you to write more exactly because you know everything about it. Let's go on with the IELTS. In the IELTS there are also two writing tasks. In the first task you will get a chart or a map or something else that you have to describe. This means that if you are not already used to describing a chart or a map you definitely have to study how to do this. In the second task you need to write an essay and there are several types of essays that can come up and you need to know the structure for every type of essay and that's what I found particularly difficult about the IELTS. I was not used to writing argumentative essays and I was also not used to describing charts or maps so I really had to study that stuff and in the beginning this was really hard because there are so many things that can come up that you have to describe and there are so many kinds of essays that can come up and you have to know every structure. So that's what I found particularly hard about the IELTS. And here comes my tip. If you are used to writing an argumentative essay and if you're used to describing charts or maps and that's not a problem for you, you can definitely go for the IELTS. However, if you are not used to that, better to choose the TOEFL because in the TOEFL, of course, regarding the first writing task, you have to memorize a structure, but this is only one structure compared to a number of structures in the IELTS. And in the second task, you can use your personal experience and write about that. And I found that particularly great about the TOEFL writing section because this makes the writing process much easier. In a nutshell, the TOEFL and the IELTS differ greatly in some respects. And if you manage to find the test that is easier for you because it fits your strengths, this may definitely boost your score. So think about where your strengths and weaknesses are, make a list of that and weigh up which test suits you best. If you've come to a conclusion and decided which test you want to take, tell me about that in the comments below. I would love to hear about that and I would love to see you next time. Bye!